Welcome to Coming Out of the Spiritual Closet with your host, me, Brittany Wittig. Join me every week to explore and demystify the world of modern spirituality. In 2012, I experienced my worst nightmare when my mom passed away from cancer. The experience of living my worst fear was nothing like I would have expected, though. It actually inspired me to reprioritize my life, to live big. And as I saw my life begin to improve, I became obsessed with the power of fear to create positive change in our lives. I spent the last 10 years learning everything I could about fear and courage, and I tested everything I learned in my own life. I quit my nine to five to travel the world full time, I built a profitable travel blog, even though I had no previous writing or website experience. I started an online coaching business that allows me to work when and where I choose. And it all came full circle in 2021 when I was diagnosed with cancer. I was once again faced with living my worst fear. But this time, I used the courageous tools and processes I'd spent the last decade developing to intuitively move through my treatment and my cancer journey. In 2022, I was declared cancer-free. I came out of my cancer journey happier, healthier, and thriving more than ever before. And that is when the Courageous Transformation Academy was born. I knew I had to share these powerful tools with as many people as possible. The Courageous Transformation Academy is a 10-module course and coaching program for ambitious dreamers who want to finally begin living their dreams without having to think positive or deny their body's innate intelligence. Imagine what it would feel like to actually live the future you can't stop thinking about, to wake up every morning in love with your life. This is possible for you. Discover how to cultivate courage so you can take empowered, inspired action. Learn to hear the voice of your intuition so you can follow it to that life you're dreaming of. And discover how your subconscious mind and nervous system work together so you can choose the way that you experience reality. Take the first courageous step today and join the waitlist for the Courageous Transformation Academy. The link for the waitlist is in the show notes. Welcome back, everyone. So this week, I want to talk about experiences showing up over and over again in our lives, sometimes in different forms. But I think that one of the things that so many of us get wrong about reality when we imagine reality is we imagine it as a line, as a a linear, a linear shape, a straight line from past to future. But the reality is life is much more of a spiral. And I say that because we will come back around to experiences over and over again until we have fully learned whatever it is we're meant to learn from these experiences. Right now, as I'm recording this, we are in Mercury retrograde. If you're not familiar with Mercury retrograde, It's a planetary alignment. I'm certainly not an astrologer, um, but basically it's when Mercury appears to be moving backwards and it famously brings up things from the past for people. That's one of the things that Mercury retrograde is known to do. And I'll be honest with you, I have never felt much during Mercury retrogrades. I haven't had them affect me too intensely until this one. This is the first Mercury retrograde I've ever experienced that has just like smacked me upside the head. (laughs) So I want to share about what's been going on and what I've learned from it and how I think that that could be helpful for you. So I about, oh, it's been almost two weeks now. I got what I thought was really horrible food poisoning when I was traveling in a really rural part of Mexico to see some very amazing Mayan ruins. It was really horrible food poisoning, the worst I'd ever had in my life. But it lasted, you know, like 
24 hours and then I started to feel better and I was like, okay, that's pretty normal for food poisoning. And then another day later, it came back and I started to get really, really sick again. After a few days, I realized, okay, I'm really sick. Like this is not okay. (laughs) This is not normal. This is not food poisoning, at least in any way that I know of it. And so I called a doctor and here in Mexico, doctors do house calls, which was just so amazing. And I'm so grateful for that. And this really wonderful doctor that speaks fluent English came to see me. It turns out that I had, have, I suppose, um, a parasitic infection that probably came from a salad that had been washed in dirty water at some point when I was in a really rural area of Mexico. And so I started on a big slew of medications, but what this looked like was I was basically unable to eat for uh, seven days, no food, just electrolyte drinks and water, basically. I dropped a lot of weight really, really fast, got pretty weak. Even now I can't eat, I'm not eating normal food, even as I record this. So really, really dramatically sick. But at some point in this sickness, I realized, oh my gosh, this is exactly how I felt when I was on chemotherapy a year ago. It felt just like this. I mean, it was uncanny how similar it was. Even like the the dropping of weight that I was doing. I mean, it was just... It was so, it was such a strange realization. And then I thought to myself, whoa, okay, why am I spiraling back to this experience? Like why, why have I spiraled back around to feeling like this? And so I started looking at what was going on in my life and what potentially I needed to learn from this experience So here's what I do when a a big obstacle is thrown in front of me. And certainly something challenging coming back up in your life is always going to be a big obstacle. So the first thing I do is I surrender to what is. The reason for that is because you cannot move forward or make decisions about how to move forward if you are resisting what is actually happening in the moment. You have to just surrender and accept this is where we're at. This is what's happening. But it's not the easiest thing. It does take practice to get better at that and to get quicker at that. So I surrendered. I accepted what was. And in this situation in particular, it was difficult to do that also because I was right at the point where I was about to relaunch my group program, the Courageous Transformation Academy. I had so many things on my schedule the week that I got sick. I had so many plans and I had to just... 100% surrender and cancel everything and surrender to the fact that it'll happen when I'm healthy again and it can't until then. So that's, you know, it's, it's tricky. It could, that piece can be hard. So first surrender to what is the second thing is to feel all of your feelings about what is going on. As you can imagine, this was On a professional level, massively disappointing because I did have so much planned. On a personal level, it felt very defeating to be experiencing this sickness that feels so similar to what I experienced a year ago going through chemotherapy. There was a lot of sadness that came up, a lot of anger, frustration. And so I let myself feel into all of that. I let myself cry, punch pillows shake, which is basically just shaking your body to sort of let anger and energy out. And so I spent some time feeling my feelings. And then once I'd surrendered and felt into my feelings, I asked myself the very important question, what can I learn from this and how can this benefit me? And that was when it got really interesting because I started to, as I asked myself this question, and usually I'll ask it out loud and then I'll write in my journal, I started to see that the way that I was doing some things in my coaching business, the way that I was, some of the marketing that I was doing, sort of the way I was going about the relaunch of my program, I'd gotten pretty far out of alignment. 
I had ignored some intuitive hits that told me like, whoa, 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 you need to slow down. One, two, you need to do this a little differently. This isn't right for you. It's not aligned for you. And it's not an integrity for you. And that's a big thing for me. It's very, very, very important for me to always be in integrity. And yeah, I realized some of the way that I was marketing my program was not in integrity. This illness, this forced time away from work allowed me to kind of snap out of the go, go, go mode that I had been in and see like, whoa, I've gotten away from myself here. What happened? So I had some time to reflect and I had some time to notice uh, where I had gotten away from myself. And some specific examples of this is that I was, I was using some like urgency in my sales tactics that didn't feel good to me, but that was recommended to me by someone who was an expert. I'm using air quotes here. I firmly believe that when you do things in alignment and when you follow your intuition, that trumps the expert every time. And so it was really interesting that I let myself get away from that a bit. I want to be transparent about this because I think this can happen to anyone and it's really easy to do with all of the noise in the online world about all the noise about how you should or should not do things. And I think I've talked about this before on the podcast. I don't like the word should, but still I got caught up in how I should do things. So as I sat with the reason that this experience was coming through, it was very, very enlightening. And I think that the reason that, that these symptoms and that this sickness mimicked so closely the experience of my chemotherapy is because during my chemotherapy, that is when the Courageous Transformation Academy was truly born. I was waking up every morning and downloads were coming through. And I would wake up and grab a journal off my nightstand and just write and write and write and write. Like basically the program was downloaded to me from the universe, from my higher self while I was going through chemo. And so I feel like this was a very potent message from my higher self, from the universe. It was like a clear reminder, like remember what this is, remember what where this came from. And know that you can always, you must always follow your intuition to bring this program to the world. And what I mean, I mean, follow my intuition versus following whatever sales experts might say online is the way to sell something. (laughs) So it was, it was a really clear, potent message and it's been, it's been tough. And I mean, I think there's some, there have been some other pieces to it as well. Needing to slow down being one of them. I am a projector in human design. If you're familiar with human design, I'm going to try and get someone on to actually do an episode about it because it's really interesting. But if you are, aren't familiar with human design, projectors are, they are, people who need a lot of breaks and a lot of rest. And that has always been true for me. I really do have to get my rest and take my breaks. And I wasn't allowing myself to do that in the way that I was, in the way that I was relaunching my program. So what I've decided to do in relation to all of this, well, first of all, as soon as I figured out how out of alignment I was with my sales techniques, I immediately went into my sales page and made big changes, changed a lot of things. I'm going to be changing some of the ways that I speak about my program. And then one of the big things that I'm going to do is I'm actually going to make the Courageous Transformation Academy evergreen. And what I mean by that is it is going to have rolling admission. People can join any of the levels at any time. And what I like about this is that it allows people to enter the program at any time when it feels right for them in their life, at the moment that it feels aligned for them, it takes away the urgency of someone feeling pressured to have to make, have to make a decision right now. I don't like that urgency and I don't, I don't want to be injecting that urgency into my business if I can help it. That's not to say that I won't 
necessarily ever have something that has a time commitment because sometimes that's just the way it works. But for this program, I really would like to open it up so that people can join whenever it feels aligned for them. So the takeaway here, I think, is to ask yourself, what are situations that you have spiraled back to recently? And maybe not recently. Maybe you can just think back in your life to a time when you've spiraled back to a situation. But maybe with this Mercury retrograde just happening, maybe you do have a recent example. Thinking about what might be the benefit of me circling back to this challenging situation, this challenging situation coming back up, and what can I learn from it? What is the takeaway here? What is the universe, my higher self, God, trying to relay to me here? What is the message? Because there always is one. So I hope that this has been helpful this week. I hope that Mercury Retrograde has uh, been a a little easier for all of you than it's been for me. But if not, you're not alone. (laughs) And thank you so much for listening. And again, I just want to thank everyone for the likes, the shares, um, the reviews that you've left, the, all of that is so, so important to the growth of the podcast and getting this podcast out to more listeners. So I truly appreciate it. Thank you so very much. And I will speak with you next week.